So the comparison to either side of me here um, is looking at um, a glyphosate applications. Both these plots have had 720 grams of glyphosate on the 21st of February. Um, so the first thing to say is obviously look beyond the spring germinating polygonums because they have come after the application. Um, and it is mainly the grasses and indeed the volunteer beans in here that are the, the things we should really concentrate on. To my left here, this has had two litres of Roundup by Active, so uh, a Bayer formulation. To this side has had two litres of a generic formulation, but as I said, both have in effect applied the same number of grams of glyphosate to the plot. And you can see some pretty dramatic differences in levels of control. Not only the volunteer bean population here, just in front of me, but as I move forward, certainly here in terms of um, some of the bromes and the real telltale one that really does show differences and quality of glyphosate formulations quite well if you have it in a trial is rat's tail fescue which is this one in front of me here um, and this has done a very very good job in terms of the, the roundup but of course again with no crop competition the rat's tail fescue was grown back from the very few that survived here again in the generic formulation on a very difficult target to hit very big difference in levels and perhaps more importantly here on black grass populations at the front, which is where people sometimes try to save a penny or few and aim for a, a non-Bayer formulation. You can see some big differences in the level of efficacy here. Um, this is becoming more and more of an issue to us, you know, as the, as the main glyphosate player, um, because of the issue of not proper control and, and the potential for us very slowly moving the population to a less sensitive state. You know the problems the, uh, the Australians have with annual ryegrass and glyphosate. We absolutely do not want that to happen here. Um, and probably Italian ryegrass is the weed that we need to watch most in terms of glyphosate efficacy in the UK and use certainly proper doses of decent formulations when trying to take ryegrass out before a new crop goes in the ground.